Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Cosmonaut Mostly. That's in Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Okay, so, um, well, we've got some stuff happening. We're exporting some stuff occasionally. Uh, so uh, we're having, you know, a little bit of uh, uh, offset on our cash hemorrhage. Uh, we're, we're building uh, some of the infrastructure over here uh, just to finish up getting this online so that we can start uh, doing our own boards locally and possibly exporting them. Um, and we might do that by rail um, or we might do that by truck or we might not uh, at all. Uh, we might just use them internally. Okay, that uh, road has uh, finished. So we will now go in here. Um, really? Ah, so we just need to build that. Okay, now we can uh, assign that and then we'll be able to build the other two bits of path. And this will allow us to get workers over here. Uh, we already have power over here. We got that online last time, right? Um, and now I think, uh, we can, we can look here. Uh, well, we've got workers waiting there. Yeah. So we can grab, uh, how many workers do we need over here? Uh, 30 there, 20 there. So 50, a couple micro buses will probably do it. Um, we have a couple of micro buses. Uh, well, isn't that useful? So we'll add a new stop. It'll be uh, this one. And we'll add a stop here. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure nobody else turns up here. Um, and we won't even let workers wait there. Uh, right. Okay. We need to go back over here and uh, grab that. Uh, line details, uh, and this is going to be the, uh, what you might call it, um, forestry workers. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, we're going to enable line spacing. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Okay, and now we'll start those two buses going. Now we don't need to produce this stuff at a particularly high rate. We just need it to actually produce, right? Uh, okay, so now if we just go in and complete those, we get a short path into here uh, so they don't have to go around this way. And then we should start seeing uh, all of the operations happening over here. And once, once we start seeing uh, boards turning up in here. I'll change the uh, import operation up here uh, to uh, collect boards from down there instead of the border. And that will give us uh, yet another thing we're not importing. And that just seems to be a good policy, right? And we've got uh, a fair chunk of uh, lumber around this whole place. So, um, yeah, we should be fine. We just need to plant the trees once in a while. Meanwhile, we are uh, finishing up those paths. Oh, we've got a bus arriving and we've got workers. And now we are uh, producing. Excellent. Uh, okay, we are. And here. Right. Okay. Good. Let's uh, let's observe this for a minute here. Um, right. Okay, we have uh, trucks driving around. Right. Uh, somebody needs to drive back to the uh, felled trees, waiting for transport. Okay. Why don't we actually bring some to the actual? Um, Woodcutting post. 
Oh, because we haven't filled the truck up yet. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. There we go. We got some there. And... We are producing boards. Yay! Uh, we are producing boards. Good. So we have... Oh, we've got boards coming up in there. Okay, good. Now, uh, what I want to do is... Is this the import operations? It is. So we're going to turn off importing boards. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to add this guy. And we're going to go down here. And we're going to load boards. Yes. Good. We now have boards production locally. This is excellent. Uh, we're not going to produce them at a rapid pace, but we're going to produce them fast enough that we'll have them when we need them. That's the whole point of this big storage here, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so we can let that just uh, do its thing. Um, yeah, okay. That can just do its thing. Uh, sit there in the background just doing whatever. Good. Well, let's check in down here. Uh, we're up to 4% there and 4% uh, there, or 3.5% there. Yeah, so we'll be sending a couple of exports from here soonish. Uh, we need more workers. That's the thing we need, right? Uh, but what have we got here? We've got uh, government loyalty, 41%. Yeah, that's not telling us much. Uh, let's check in on the actual. Here we've got uh, happiness is decent. Uh, loyalty is still okay. Now on here, I'm going to turn off, turn down cultural enjoyment. I'm going to go 100% propaganda here. And uh, hopefully that uh, uh, that will help the uh, loyalty number, right? Uh, that's just uh, just what I'm doing. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing I need to get uh, operational on here is I need to start up upgrading this stuff. Right? So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, upgrade work here for uh, roads. Uh, okay, so if we come in here, uh, do all of this. Yeah, just get um, just get the uh, uh, upgrades from these uh, mud tracks uh, sorted out. Uh, no, don't queue that one. What's that one for? Um, oh, that's supplies for the uh, rail construction. Okay, we can block that one. Right. Okay, and we can block the rail construction uh, yard thingy. Right? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so if we go in here, assign those. Yeah. Okay, so that will get... Uh, that will get some stuff uh, built. This isn't going to cost us anything because we're producing our own gravel. We're producing fuel for our trucks. Uh, well, it'll cost us for the uh, uh, steel and uh, electrical components needed for the street lighting. But it, it, other than that, it won't cost us anything uh, because uh, we produce our own gravel and bitumen. So we can pave roads with impunity now. Um, yes, yeah, so I said with impunity. Uh, good word, impunity. Right. Okay. So, uh, we'll get all of this stuff uh, underway. Uh, meanwhile, um, we do have uh, quite a few people are all over the place. I'll pro I think I'll probably build these. They are set to get citizens from randomly. Okay. Well, that'll bring some from the outlying uh, communities. So... I'm just going to build these. Okay. So that's that. We have built those. Good. Or queued them up, rather. And that's a whole bunch of stuff for the 
uh, thing here. Now here we're up to a hundred and some boards in there. Uh, we're uh, producing boards there at a decent rate. We have uh, and we're, we're producing that stuff fast enough. Uh, so we don't need to uh, work too much harder there. Could add another um, could add another one of these and truck the uh, logs into there. Uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, I don't see the need. Uh, we can erase this forest slowly over time and uh, build up a, a stockpile, right? Now, um, I want to check here. Do we have... Where's the... We're not building up a lot of passengers arriving there. Uh, that's probably partly because, okay, yeah, we need more people uh, living over on this side too, I think. Well, that's going to require extending the roads and doing some other stuff. Yeah, so we need to let this stuff uh, play out first and these. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we are... Oh, right, we're uh, still working on this stuff as well. Uh, we need to build... Oh, oh, have we built the uh, all the conveyors down here? We have. Okay, and these are processing plants, and that's a storage. Okay. Um, well, build the storage and those two, because I need to get those built, right? And also... Uh, I need an aggregate loading down here. Yeah, I need an aggregate loader. Uh, where is it? Will it be under here? Um, loader. Train aggregate loading. That's truck. Train aggregate loading. Okay, so I can... Yeah, it has to be on this side. Okay, so I can put a train aggregate loader... Now let's put some, put a gap in there. I can put it right there. Yeah, yeah, I can put it right there. Um, right, and we need a uh, road. Now, can I get a road under this thing here? I can get a road under that thing. Yeah, I can. Okay, uh, but don't make it with twenty seven hundred nodes. Yeah, I can get it under just like that and kink it over to that way. And then, no. Uh, come from here. And then come that way. Yeah. You can come up there. Yep. Good. Okay. That will give us a uh, spot to uh, load our stuff in. Yeah. And I'll need to bring a rail line around to that. Yep. Okay. No, I want that rail line. Okay, so we bring it up to about here. Then we can curve it up. Eh, say like this. Yeah. Then uh, we can take a uh, spur thing off here, come around uh, this way and down here. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And then we uh, run this out to say there. Yeah. And if we put a crossover there, yeah, uh, we can bring this out, I don't know, up to about here. Yeah, we can bring it up to about there. Uh, and then that can, no. Then that can do that. Okay, that gives us a path into there. Let's, uh, let's construct that. 
I'll construct that later. Um, but we need to have the uh, rail line built, right? Um, now, if we come up here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we come in here, I have auto search on. Uh, are you going anywhere? No. Why aren't you going anywhere? That's a good question. Okay. Oh, there's no workers, so there's no point in it going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, we need to have this, uh, all this road construction over here finished, or it's not going to do anything. Right. And these guys, they are constructing. Yay. Now, we've got some of this stuff is actually finishing. Yeah? Yeah, some of it is. Yeah, it's all these little pieces of road that are really annoying when you're upgrading in Cosmonaut because each one has to be built separately. And the uh, AI behind it, the uh, algorithms and stuff that run it all, aren't smart enough to uh, combine multiple small pieces into a larger project, right? It'd be nice if they were, but they're not. But yeah, it takes uh, it takes a little while to uh, to do all of this, and getting this road through here upgraded to paved with uh, street lights uh, should improve the overall transport infrastructure somewhat, and that would be good. But it does require bringing enough people in to actually do the work, right? Yeah, that, that is uh, somewhat important. Um, this piece is just about done. No, this piece is just about done, rather. Uh, one work day, uh, that is done. Uh, this one needs resources. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that, uh, you know, it just needs resources in a lot of places. These are also small enough um, jobs where a mechanism can't be used in place of uh, laborers. And that makes a uh, difference in how fast the construction goes as well. Okay, well that is uh, doing its thing. Uh, oh, this is uh, constructed. Yeah, okay. Well, um, I suppose there's another project that would be useful to, uh, to start. I don't know what it is, but I suppose there is. This is coal, right? Iron would be a great uh, resource to find. Why don't we just do some prospecting here? Uh, close that, yeah. Um, now, coal, yeah. Iron. There's iron here. Okay, we have iron up here. Um, right, so where is it? Oh. It's right here. Yep, it's right here in the hill. I wonder. Metallurgy. Uh, iron mine. 
Oh yeah, we've got um, we've got boatloads of uh, um, okay. Can we get a fifty-seven uh, percent? Fifty-five, fifty-three, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-one, sixty. 59, 60, 61, 61, 60. Yeah, so we'd want an, the iron mine right about here. Um, yeah, right about there. That would be where we would put the iron mine. Yeah. Yeah. So our iron operation could be up here. Uh, okay. I, I could put a second iron mine in there too. Uh, there's plenty of room. Uh, but I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need to get uh, something somewhere for processing all of this. Now I think it uh, it will feed two iron ore processors. Um, and what I want to do is put a Oh, I want to just grab the uh, iron mine again. Yeah, there isn't much to be had over here. Um, uh, so if I were to uh, try a flat... Yeah. Um, say over here. Uh, what's the uh, amount? Twenty-one percent. Yeah, it's probably not worth uh, probably not worth doing uh, up here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Get rid of that. Good. Okay. Uh, so that means I could go ahead and uh, grab an aggregate storage. Put a large one in there. And it can go along here. Yep. It can go here. Bam. Yeah. Yeah, it can, it can do that. And then I need iron metallurgy. Iron processing. Um, okay. So we need it coming in there. No. Uh, we need it coming in uh, like that. No. Yeah, we could get we could get get away with that. Um, yeah, I could get away with putting that there, I think. Put one of those there, uh, and then we need to uh, get some uh, distance here. Okay. Need to get some distance from the uh, other uh, processing plant. Yeah, about there I think we'll do. Put it there, yeah. Now, let's see if I can get an aggregate uh, or a conveyor um, uh, one to three. Okay. Oh. I can... I can just do that. Good. Uh, and then I need a three to one. Uh, to take the output here. Yep. Okay. 
and that will go into a another large storage which can be down here uh yeah okay now i need to get roads to those um i uh, can oh i can get a road under there good uh that comes in like that and comes in like that that comes up can I even get oh okay well I'm gonna have to do a trick demolish that demolish that actually just demolish that okay now uh, grab our three into one uh, three into one um, okay, so we've got that. Yeah, if I do that, I think I can get a road out of there now. Yeah, okay. These uh, conveyor things are mods. So that's, um, that's that. Let's just send it over there so we don't get another node. Yeah, okay. So that is an iron production uh, facility. So we'll get those uh, roads queued up. Now, let's go into here re-up our loan so that we can get even further in the hole yeah borrow yeah i'm not going to build this right away i'm ju i've just got it roughed in so that we have a uh so that i know where the iron ore industry is going to be and i'm going to need a uh a train aggregate uh loading facility up here and if i do things right I may be able to get it to also work with the gravel uh, storage there. Uh, and then we can use trains to uh, schlep gravel around. Uh, now, to get a train connection up here, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I'll have to think on that. Uh, probably, ideally, would be to come through, say, around here. I wonder if I can get a track through there. Um, oh, yeah, a track can be brought through there. Okay. So, that means that we can bring iron ore from here to wherever we set up a steel mill. Um, yeah. Okay. Epidemic situation report. Yeah, just an annual event. Okay. Right. Now, uh, we are, well, we have overall 72% happiness. That's not terrible. 41% uh, government loyalty. What's this looking like? Well, um, point five percent uh loyalty on that hmm but again we don't have enough people right uh doing the uh thing there yeah um yeah we're not even maxed out but i'm gonna add another tick on that just um just because why not uh, all of these things are just about done, except this one, which is waiting for resources. Yeah, well, that's a story of our life with Cosmonaut, right? Uh, always waiting for resources. Okay. Well, so that's roughed in. That's going to be the uh, iron source. Uh, that we use for producing domestic steel, and we'll probably export the steel. Uh, we're up to 5% here 
almost 5% there. Uh, we've just taken a load here. We have 108k uh, rubles worth of bitumen on the train heading around to the uh, export uh, place. Okay, well, we can, we can definitely live with that. Right. Now, it's because we've been building things that our exports have been so, or our imports have been so high. Um, the, you know, steel is it really, I've said it before, but uh, it, it bears saying again, steel is really expensive. Uh, especially once, um, uh, especially once the um, inflation kicks in, right? Um just um actually would you finish building that apparently not um okay where's the labor construction office um here uh, we have uh, the road. Uh, ah, we're probably sending our uh, workers down to one of these uh, projects. Probably down here, yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a minute before those are finished. Right. Now, once we can start exporting coal, I think, uh, and stop importing it, I think we'll be able to start turning around the uh, the money situation. Because if we take a look in here, we've got a bunch of these loans that are that'll be paid off in a couple of years, right? Uh, game years. And they're uh, they'll go down relatively quickly. And we've got a relative spread on the uh, maturity dates of all of these. So uh, with the exports that we're currently doing, uh, we've s dramatically reduced uh, how much extra we're hemorrhaging compared to debt servicing. So hopefully that will delay when we have to reborrow and uh, solve uh, some of the uh, outstanding uh, loan issue. See, that's the thing. Uh, even if you have a really high loan payment, right uh it's only for a fixed term and once that term expires assuming you've made all the payments the payment goes away so if you are as long as you are retiring loans on average faster than you're taking new ones out you will eventually pay off what you owe but you need to make sure that you are paying off loans faster than you're taking new ones to uh, get ahead we're not at that point here. Uh, although uh, we've got a second export uh, is uh, at the uh, border. So we're going to come close to breaking even on import export here uh, this this month. Um, as we see, the end of the month is almost here and uh, we're uh, 20K positive. Right. But that's with uh, a fuel and a bitumen export in the same month, right? And that, uh, that makes a huge difference, as you can see, to the bottom line. So we were 33K positive uh, in August. <clears throat> in the meantime, we are exporting... Uh, yeah, we're, we're exporting stuff right okay well that's um that's pretty uh that's pretty impressive really that it's working out like that uh how are we doing here we have 552 boards in there of 1170 so uh, we are going to fill all of this up 
Uh, so we're definitely producing enough boards. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, this is at 1.83, 1.76. So it is uh, operating, but we're we're down staffed there. So definitely need to um, get more staffing going on, and that's just going to require more workers. Now, if I did, if I wanted to uh, break the uh, the basic rules of Cosmonaut, I could just import a bunch of people, but you know that uh, that's kind of cheating. And part of the reason we're in this fix is because I screwed up earlier, if you recall. Um, I ended up with a massive population crash because I was an idiot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did anyway. Uh, it's the sort of thing I do in, the, in these, these types of games. So it wouldn't be at all surprising if I had done that. Now, down here. This still isn't getting the workers. Okay, that means all the workers are coming down here. Uh, they're coming into here. Okay, so we need concrete down here. Uh, we're bringing concrete down there. Well, okay. That is, in fact, operating. That's good. Uh, those will get done eventually. Uh, this, uh, we have 0.5% uh, or so on the loyalty. Uh, I could improve happiness quite a bit by providing alcohol, but that has other effects. And having them not addicted to alcohol does seem like a uh, potentially useful uh, situation, right? So uh, by, by not giving them the alcohol, uh, they, uh, they should be happier in the long run, even though it uh, does give us a hit in the short run. But as you can see, it's possible to keep happiness largely at bay without the alcohol. Uh, and that's saving us money so because we, we don't have to import it then. You see, we're, we're uh, sort of positive on the import-export uh, bit here, uh, even a third of the way through uh, September, uh, because of the stuff we're exporting by truck. Right. See, um, we keep uh, bringing truckloads of uh, stuff, um, but we're also importing coal. Right. So uh, overall, uh, what um, I think uh, things have been somewhat productive here. Got the rough in for iron ore. Uh, building some of the final bits of infrastructure for coal, which uh, won't um, won't need any uh, any workers for a bit, because we we need uh, we need to we need more workers to actually send down there. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so all that is working. Uh, and then when this gets built, uh, this will uh, come around and uh, allow coming around and doing the uh, uh, the finished um, rail bit into here. Uh, and then I'll have to queue this up. And then once this stuff is all built, uh, then it'll be worth, I think, uh, queuing up a whole bunch of stuff for a... Uh, a, uh, a um, an expansion here uh, so we can get coal export uh, going uh, right but that's uh, just before I go I'll just check in here <clears throat> uh, nobody's in front of the shop so we're we're definitely meeting the need there um, <clears throat> we have students waiting for professors in the uh, university so <clears throat> What if we uh, expand our uh, uh, workers here a little bit? Maybe we'll get some more professors in there. And um, yeah, well, that does seem to be happening. Okay, so we have here... Right, so we have uh, some uneducated people. Uh, and that's uh, 
that's fine. But we have a bunch of people that don't have a workplace, and that's uh, a thing. Um, we have 58 students studying at university. Uh, what if I expand this and we can have more university level people? Um, wow. What if I max it out? Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll do that. Uh, just so we can train up uh, workers uh, better. Uh, this here is a school. Um, no. Yep. Yeah, those are fine. Um, kindergartens are fine. Yeah, I might need another one over here. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be where I put the cut. Uh, everything's ticking along, and that's, uh, that's kind of useful. So uh, I guess... Uh, uh, do we have a population increase happening? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to check the uh, the demographics here. Uh, and we're going to go this year. Yeah, so we had a bit of a decrease, but we have an uptick here. Um, yeah. And the number of people with a radio is going up. That's good. University educated is going up. Basic educated is going up. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, the, the Republic here isn't doing too bad. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'm going to put, I'm, as I said, I'm putting the cut here. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know that business, right? Uh, and then the dislike, it's also an option. And the bell. If you turn that on, you might get some notifications of new videos and you might find that useful. Anyway, see you back next time.